got a young apprentice today. These don't breed aren't good too. So you should be seeing a lot more of Ian. He looks like he's uh, he's catching on real well, and he likes he likes doing what it is that we do. He wants to learn construction as much of it as he can. He's a sponge at this age, the young age of 19. Boy, I remember those days. All right, so Ian, he's he's just about full. George just showed up. George is empty. We got the gooseneck dump down the street. Man, that thing's getting pretty full too. You know, that holds 20 yards of dirt. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do two high octanes. We're gonna do two high octanes at the bottom of the trench. Then we're gonna run the Boffman Gold. And we're gonna tie two downspouts into one run of the Boffman Gold. Because the more water you get moving through this thing, if some leaves and shingle gravel and all that crazy stuff that we got to work with is this part of life, it's part of being a homeowner. The more water that you are pushing through the Boffman Gold, the cleaner it's going to remain. So again, we got two downspouts coming off the house. We're going to tie them together in one run of the Boffman Gold on top of a double barrel system of the high octane, which is the strongest single wall pipe in the world with the most inlet, and it's the only yard drain purpose built. All right, it's winter in Michigan. We're putting in a French drain system. There is a berm back here, beautiful setup. I love the setup this homeowner has a nice situation there's a beautiful walking path and the common area is is wooded and gorgeous but this berm between the walking path this is very common too and then look he set himself up real nice he's got a gate to where him and his family can just take a nice nice stroll down this path beautiful but did did this lot come with a, something a little additional absolutely so now the water when it rains and when that snow melts sheds into the swale we have non permeable surface here as you can see everything is concrete non permeable this roof non permeable that roof non permeable so what do we have we have all the downspouts everything a very narrow green belt even though there's slope it's so hard for water to find its way out of our blue grasses here in the north that the slope isn't enough so what we're gonna do we're tying in we're down pretty deep that's the tie-in on this storm drain this is storm water drain you can't expect the water to go up and into the grate now that would be flood water you'd literally have to have standing water now just the water that's left to lie it has no way to do that it's not going to define gravity and go into the storm drain catch basin so what we do is we tie into that tap we're down probably 30 36 inches and we run our Boffman high octane our wrapped system with stone then we burrito wrap it look how good these guys are look at that they disconnected it right at a coupler we'll get that system in we'll put this sprinkler line right back in beautiful stuff beautiful stuff talented crew Marcello is the man because that was that was his handiwork so now even though this isn't the blue clay because here in Michigan we have a blue clay that's really really nasty I mean really nasty 
even though it's not the blue clay, this yard is still a mess. All right, so we got water. Look at this. Look at all that water. Notice how that water is not moving. That water is just laying on the surface. When there's stone there and we have a quad pack of high octane, the water goes down into the system. Then it migrates easily and freely through the storm drain catch basin. That's how it works, guys. Any questions, please post them in the comments section. I'm here for you guys. Okay, again, high octane at the bottom. That's your perforated pipe with the hole in it. Always put the blue pipe at the bottom. Then your downspout pipes. Run the Boffman Gold on top of the perforated pipe. It's solid. It's carrying the downspout water. They're two different systems, but we're building two systems and we're utilizing the same trench. Now notice how we have one, two, three, four downspouts tied into one run of the Boffman Gold. And then we're gonna run this is gonna be yellow pipe on top of the blue all the way to the city storm drain. That's so that no debris can lay in the pipe no debris will get stuck and hung up in the pipe. Why is our pipe yellow? Because it is virgin material. There is no recycled materials. There is no restaurant containers that animals can smell, and that's why they dig up and chew on all that recycled material. They can smell it, and they something about it. They Their sense of smell is thousands of times better than ours, and they're going to dig up that garbage pipe and chew on it. So... This was a house that had collapsed ADS pipe. That stands for Advanced Drainage Systems. Isn't corporate America clever? Advanced Drainage Systems. And the pipe failed, the pipe collapsed, the homeowner had to dig it up, cut it just to get his downspout water to run. So here we are building a French drain and a roof runoff system in the same trench now remember you're going to be moving a lot of water off the roof you want to use pvc tape like you see here pvc tape everything that tree roots and shrub roots might be able to get into put the stone on top of both systems and then wrap it and then your French drain is isolated from your downspout system, ensuring that your French drain is gonna last forever. Now, when you tie your downspouts into your French drain pipe, it fills full of leaves, it fills full of shingle gravel, it breaks down, all that organic material becomes compost, right? Just breaks down, plugs the pipes, now your French drain system has an expiration date and you did it at the time of install. So remember, do not run your roof runoff system in your French drain pipe. All right, guys, till the next video.